What's up, YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest, coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona on this Saturday, July 29th, 2017. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us here today. If you're a regular, welcome back. As always, you guys, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated. It helps me reach other questers just like yourself, helps us grow this channel and this community. And that is the very special topic of today's video. Uh, because of you guys and your support and gals, uh, we have reached a new milestone for the YouTube channel. We have officially hit 200 subscribers, and that was my New Year's resolution, and you guys have helped me achieve that by July, uh, just about a little more than halfway through the year, uh, which is amazing. You guys are all amazing, and to show that support, uh, we're gonna do a special roster update video uh, quickly and then we're going to talk about the details for the $25 gift card giveaway uh, which I will be doing as I said I would for reaching 200 subscribers and uh, you guys have helped me make it this far so this is my way to uh, help give back a little bit to you guys and it'll be in the form of either iTunes or Google Play gift card for whichever device the winner plays on uh, details for that is going to be at the end of the video. Uh, we are crunched a little bit for time uh, for some of these rewards before they expire. I have about 160 tokens that we're going to claim and then about 75 rewards here. So all together, uh, you know, over 200 hopefully rewards that get claimed and, and added into the roster. So um, let's start with what we got before it expires. And we're going to scroll all the way through all of this and uh, have 12 minutes for this Hawkeye. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start at the bottom of the list to work our way up, and then we'll go ahead and claim those tokens. Uh, all right, so three-star Hawkeye, almost to the 200 mark. Or is he going to break it? Just barely. 199. Uh, so got some command points, got some hero points, uh, tokens, ISO, everything in there. So he is just about to get to that 200 mark. Patch. Well above, got some nice rewards there up to 219. Blade only gets one, but he's already up at 228, so he's he's rocking and rolling. Three star Black Panther, oh, legendary token at 227, so we'll be claiming that as well. Add that to the list of tokens to claim. Uh, these guys all four hours or less, and uh, need to make sure I get this video made before uh, tonight for you guys. Uh, one, because I've just been super excited for um, hitting 200 subscribers. Also, later tonight, have uh, our D&D session, and that is going to be somewhere in the next few hours, and I don't want these rewards to go to waste. Anytime you have rewards on a countdown timer, which is should be any uh, rewards in your roster, uh, it's about a two-week timer, 14 days. And if you let those rewards go to waste and just expire, ooh, there's another legendary token at 239 for three star cap. Uh, those rewards actually will, uh, you know, just disappear into the ether. They don't automatically convert to ISO, um, which might be a nice feature now that I think about it for Marvel Puzzle Quest to implement. That if nothing gets sold, that at least it goes to ISO. That it's not a total loss. Um, it doesn't have to be added to the roster because obviously you need spots for that and that takes uh, currency in those hero points to open those slots for the roster. So you can't force add characters, but at least if you have a, a available rosters or available uh, covers in your rewards and they just expire, why not just get the ISO for selling them? I think that's a, a, a good way to give back to the players. I mean, you did earn those rewards, and just because you didn't sell them or champion them or whatever, um, at least you get a little something out of it. I think that's a fair trade. Um, so here comes Doctor Strange, three star with another legendary token at 239. He gets up a couple extra levels to 241, one of my absolute favorite three stars in the game. Uh, Doctor Strange, a huge damage output, um, has a stun ability as well and can drain enemy AP with his uh, blue ability, which is phenomenal. He heals, and he has that passive attack with uh, Flames of Faltine, his yellow, which uh, deals a ton of damage, uh, or can at max level, and then as you champion him, uh, whenever an enemy uses an ability. 
Uh, so it's a little bit of uh, offensive defense, if you will. And I really enjoy using him in um, many of my team-ups. Cyclops got quite a few rewards here. I think these are mostly from the uh, recent event. So he's up at 220. Rocket and Groot 3-star. There's a nice set of 5 command points. Some ISO, some ISO. Almost to that 239. Couple levels shy for getting another legendary token there. Those legendary tokens are good for the latest Legends pack. There are two legendary stores, or vaults, if you will. Uh, the classic and latest Legends. The latest Legends is the one that those tokens are good for. You can use command points in the classic Legends pack. 20 le uh, command points for one of those classic uh, four-star or five-star draws. We'll take a look at that store when we get to it, when we go pull those other tokens, if you're unfamiliar with those. So Deadpool, he's up at 241 as well. Another great three-star. Man, rocking it on these legendary tokens. This is going to be an awesome video for you guys, and I'm super excited. Couldn't ask for better rewards uh, pulling those on just a roster boosting video. Some command points from Magneto. Thor, ISO, looking at a Red Hulk cover, next uh, level up for him, so that's exciting. Tough to get those Red Hulk covers. Um, I had the hardest time getting greens, and uh, I think uh, that next one will allow me to champion him if uh, I think I'm ready for that. I think he'd be a good champion. Uh, he takes that passive uh, damage, creates cascades. Um, he can steal green, which fuels up other characters' abilities, whether his or somebody else's, uh, which is nice. Oh, here comes another legendary token. Thank you, Indestructible Hulk. Up to 239. Some Loki. Is he going to break 200 this time? Not today. Human Torch, one level up at 206. Ragnarok. Name also of the upcoming Thor movie, which the San Diego Comic-Con trailer looks phenomenal. It makes me want to see the movie just even more. Uh, Dakin up at 211. She-Hulk getting a heroic token as well at 195. And then last but not least, Gamora, which was from the big enchilada today. She's up at 191, so she's cruising along. She's, uh, I'll be honest, not my favorite three-star. Um, she has some... Decent abilities. It depends on who she's paired with. Um, but the four-star Gamora is uh, by far, uh, I think, a better character in terms of abilities and um, and usage. So um, looking forward to getting more of those four-star Gamora covers as well. All right, that does it for the three-star rewards. We're going to head down to the four-stars. We actually have one for uh, Goddess of Thunder Thor, which is the four-star uh, Lady Thor variant. She was my very first four-star champion, and she's now up at 275. I think, um, although she was my first champion, she's not my highest level champion. I think Medusa uh, is actually higher just because of sheer number of covers that I've gotten for her. I'm also on baby duty, so I have my six-month-old here. If you hear a little, a little fuss, that's her. She's normally pretty good, though. Let's see. All right. Okay. So that's uh, let's see. Mordo I know is at 13 covers, and I'm not going to use his purple uh, to change any of that today. I have a week left on that to decide. I've got three Riri Williams, um, which is also at 13 covers. So if anything, I would champion her, but not today. So Punisher, his black ability. I know I need this cover, which takes him up to four. And his black ability is uh, Punish for 10 black AP cost. Now deals 23, 29 damage plus 368 for every friendly strike tile on the board. Of course, strike tiles are going to increase damage as well. If all allies are stunned or down, this power becomes Army of One. Um, that increases up from 1538 and 279, of course, to 23, 29, and 368 uh, extra damage. Um, Army of One is still the same uh, in terms of usage. And then at max level, level 5, this goes up to 3692 in damage, plus 617 for every friendly strike tile on the board. Also still becomes Army of One in the same circumstance. So, 
That makes him a 4-5-0 build. I still cannot get blue covers for him to save my life. I'm having the same difficulty as I was with the uh, green covers for Red Hulk. And as a matter of fact, for Captain Marvel too. Uh, Four-star Captain Marvel has been elusive with the green covers. Take a quick look here at what I got for her. She's in the back because she hasn't been leveled very much. 5-5-2. Five, five, I got tons of black, tons of yellow. Can't get greens. One second. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. There you go. I figure it's easier to do this than pause and start up a whole new video and have to stitch it all together. So thank you guys so much for your understanding and patience, uh, being a new dad and also trying to do the YouTube thing. So moving right along with skill and dexterity, as my English teacher used to say, uh, we have 54 standard tokens, we have 76 elite tokens, and we have 30 heroic tokens. These have a chance at 2, 3, or 4 star. These have a chance at 2 or 3 star only. And these are a chance at 1, 2, or 3 star. And then, of course, if those characters are championed, they can earn those extra rewards like ISO, command points, hero points, etc. And uh, the, these open vaults have a chance to draw bonus heroes if it is in the category in which you can normally draw characters. For example, this one stops at 3 stars. So I can get either uh, of these uh, four three-star bonus heroes that I have selected in the Heroic Vault where I have um, the chance to get two, three, or four stars. Um, any of the four-star bonus heroes that I have selected will be available in that vault as well. What's the matter, Pumpkin? There you go. It's okay. You're okay. Alright, so we're going to draw these 54 first, and then we're going to move on to the rest. A lot of these are going to be 1 stars, that's the nature of the beast, but every once in a while you do get lucky with some 2 star or 3 star characters. And any 1 star characters are pretty much going to be ISO at this point. And at that remark, uh, since the 1 stars are basically sold off, I think that uh, there should be maybe a bring back of the uh, Bagman Spider-Man as two-star Spider-Man. Um, put him in this vault with like a higher draw rate maybe um, because at least two stars are championable. Um, you can get extra rewards by leveling them. Um, that would be a great way to you know bring him back in. He had a special event a couple months ago where he was one of the rewards, but his abilities haven't been changed since the game launched. There are tons of spider characters in the game. Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, uh, Venom, Carnage, Five Star Spidey, the other Five Star Spidey, uh, Black Suit Spidey, and Homecoming variants. Um, but Bagman, for some reason, um, he really has, for a two-star, some high-cost abilities. And uh, it made a lot of people not like using him, which is why he was actually taken out of the rotation. So if I had, you know, a voice of opinion in the matter, uh, I think they had a, a great revamp of uh, Totally Awesome Amadeus Cho Hulk. And um, a lot of people gave him flack in the beginning when he was first launched. And uh, a lot of people skipped on building up his covers. And then they redid his abilities and he's amazing. And he's actually one of my few four-star champions at the moment because he's super awesome. And they have the ability to, to do that, and they, you know, patch certain abilities here, or more or less health here and there, like they did with uh, Mordo, and uh, who was the other one? This, uh, somebody else got a revamp. Riri Williams, Ironheart, got a, a little update in this new uh, gem season. So they have the ability to do that with Marvel Puzzle Quest, so I don't understand why they wouldn't do that for Bagman, and just, you know, put him back in the game with... Uh, better abilities. Just saying. That's my two cents. Because nobody likes seeing characters that they avoid at all costs. Uh, when there's so many characters to choose from in the game, you should have the ability to choose, you know, openly and with the variety 
uh, that suits your gameplay, that suits you know your, your, your preference, whether it's PvE or PvP, and uh, certain ones are powered up. You know, he could be in that rotation as well. Um, anyways, that's that. I love Spider-Man, and I really uh, am kind of bummed that there's a Spider-Man character in the game that I don't like to use. Fifteen more to go here. As I said before, it's mostly going to be a lot of one-stars. Almost no bonus heroes uh, drawn so far. And... I say this every time I do a roster update video, and I'll probably continue to say it until something changes in the game, uh, but there would be uh, much benefit, I feel, from a draw all uh, button. Very much like when you get a 10 pack or a 40 pack uh, in any of the vaults, and you click the little arrow in the corner and it takes you through all 10 or 40, whichever uh, maximum you get, uh, instead of having to click and click and click and get carpal tunnel in your thumb from clicking the screen and it's not even really gameplay it's just opening covers um, I think it would help speed things up I think it would uh, have a lot less frustration Ooh, a three star first three star out of like all 70 covers there there's a bonus Doctor Strange very nice and then here we go with some more one stars so you can see the odds on that are extremely low uh, in that vault. All right, we're moving up to Elite. There's 76 of these. There are no more one stars, um, only two or three stars, so the odds are a little bit better in your favor. And those, ooh, Squirrel Girl right off the bat, very nice. Uh, three star champions and um, two star champions um, each have respective characters that when you level to a certain point, they build up, um, just like that uh, Red Hulk. Uh, I forget who it was that I was leveling. At the time, I think it was Green Hulk, uh, Indestructible, and uh, no, no, it was somebody else. Anyways, uh, that those covers come every so many levels where you at least build one of each cover uh, when you complete a maxed champion. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Here. What's wrong? You're all right. Here we go. You're all right. There you go. See? It might be time for dinner. Now, three star Patch Wolverine. Woo! Black Widow. And I will have to be right back after these messages. Do to do. And we're back, just like that. Uh, a little bit of a diaper situation. Handled it. Here we go. Back with adamantium bones for Bullseye, two star Bullseye, two star Magneto, Dakin, and for those of you guys that are new to the game or have not championed and reset two stars. The two stars actually can help you build up your shield rank. By leveling and adding extra covers, um, your shield rank can help you earn extra rewards in those PvE or PvP events based on your clearance level. And uh, I think currently it goes up to level 8, shield rank 8. But then after, uh, you know, at that level, oh, here comes three star Loki. Uh, you know, you can get extra three-star, extra four-star rewards based on your rank and a little bit more easily, which uh, is better for having that extra level as well. Um, so you do get uh, ISO at every level up, uh, purple ISO. There's a bonus here, Hawkeye, very nice. So uh, those two stars, even if they seem like a waste of time, for the amount of money, if one is maxed at 144, or, you know, ISO cost, if one's at 144, which is maxed out, basically, as a champion, you sell it off, um, it only costs you a net cost of about 6000 to get back up to base level, and then from there you start adding back in 
covers. So if you have a few on reserve or you're doing a roster update like this, you save some tokens, you could claim a bunch, and then uh, you know sell off the one you have, you're going to have enough at least to get you started. And then um, using these tokens that you can earn from Deadpool's daily quest, from leveling other characters, from placement in... Ooh, there's another Thanos, three star, very nice. Then those are going to be useful to you and not feel like a junk reward because it's helping you to build up your shield rank, helping you to build up your roster, and uh, giving you something to, to work towards uh, to get those three star rewards from two star champions, etc. Original Black Widow, here's another three star Thor. Ares, Psylocke, 30 more to go here, Dakin again, lots of Dakin, Vision, and here we go with another 3 star Human Torch, 2 star Hawkeye, Colossus, Great support class for Colossus. Uh, his fastball basically lets you use an ability for free. Uh, of course, it is random. It sends a, one of your teammates airborne uh, to use it, which means if there's an uh, attack coming that would hurt them or that would, um, you know, affect any of their abilities, uh, you still get to use that ability as well um, and potentially save them from taking heavy damage and and being knocked out of the fight, which is never a good thing. Scarlet Witch, awesome support class for those uh, purple tile generation. Um, Iron Man uh, Model 40, also great for AP generation uh, in many other colors. Red, blue, yellow, or no, uh, red, blue, green, purple. What's the matter, baby? What's wrong? Wow, lots more Colossus there. Here. There you go. Miss Marvel, or Captain Marvel. Some two star Cap, three, uh, three star Star Lord with a bonus Thanos. And Thanos' black ability, uh, Court Death, if you haven't got that. Um, you may have seen it in the game used against you or in um, some PvE, uh, PvP matchups rather. Um, anytime you knock out an enemy, uh, it stuns and deals a ton of damage. Um, very useful for low level PvE events where you want to just knock out the goons and get past it. Alright, and we're moving on to these guys in just a second. Well, that worked out. Uh, I went out there and the wife was home from running to get dinner. So, baby situation taken care of. We can finish this and then I get to go have some dinner and then after that go play some D&D. So, exciting night all the way around. All right, Doctor Strange with bonus Doctor Strange. Woo, the twofer. I love it. All right, and then don't forget after these guys... We are going to also draw some legendary tokens, so in about 24 more draws we'll get to that, and we might even hit shield rank 90 after, well, we'll get close. We'll see. Depends on who I can uh, add covers to for champions, and then we also get, uh, we get points for drawing from the pack, and then we get points for adding covers. So, let's see, we are currently... Uh, a little more than three quarters of the way there. Ooh, Drax! Wait, slice and dice. Uh, yeah, I think I have that one at level five. I don't know if that's going to help me or not. I think that's the one ability of his that I have at level five, and I really need his black and purple. And I can't get those either because reasons. Squirrel Girl again. 12 more to go here. Wolverine. Three star Dakin. Ares. Woot Cage, three star. Haven't 
gotten, I think, any four stars out of this set so far, and there was like 50 of them in here, so that's a little bit disheartening, but some pretty decent three-star picks. Oh, speaking of four stars and speaking of Gamora, uh, there's Incapacitate, her blue cover, with a bonus. Oh, with the bonus winner, Soldier! Hallelujah. All right. I take back what I said. I wish I got more four stars, but I am quite happy with those two for four stars. Wow. Gamora and Winter Soldier back to back. Very good indeed. There's Hood and bonus Thanos. Nice way to finish out there. All right. So we have a total of, you know what? We might even get some more legendary tokens. So let's go add the rest of the guys back and then... 174, and then we had 7 left, so that's, what, 167 claimed rewards. Uh, a lot of these are going to be 1 stars, so we're going to go ahead and sail all 44 of those. Go in with 2 stars. Doesn't really matter if we start at the top or the bottom because these are all relatively new. We'll start here since we can. Dakin, I know we got a ton of these. So we might even make it up to 144 again. Nope, just shy, 137. All right, two-star Hawkeye. The only Avenger without superpowers. Captain Marvel. Some more heroic tokens. Ooh, three-star Captain Marvel. Be nice if I got some four-star Captain Marvel, but no. There's Ragnarok. Some command points. And let's see. I think I need to add in these guys. All right, so he's ready to champion at 13 covers. And then once he's championed, you can mix and match those abilities uh, however you see fit. All right, 112 for him, I think. How's she doing? She's at 55, one, or 155, I should say. Still not enough to, to reboot her. Two-star Thor, up to 121. Two-star Storm, more heroic tokens. More ISO, three-star Storm, and some more ISO. Here we go with Bullseye couple covers there up at 135 uh, okay that needs to be champion so that I can add in extra covers and what else do we got Captain America Captain America up to 109 and that's it for that yep she needs to be championed again he needs to be championed all right, so we got about five days to get Moonstone up, and then the rest of these guys have two weeks, so that's probably going to happen later. Must hard day for my Espanol speaking friends. All right, four star. We skipped three star completely, so let's go back through these. And uh, it used to tell you where you got these uh, covers from. It's something that they put in the game temporarily and they took it back out. Uh, but uh, these little bonus hearts here uh, on the side, like Doctor Strange, show that that was earned through a bonus hero. So we got Hawkeye also. We got some Doctor Strange and Thanos, some Star-Lord, all that. So we're going to start at the bottom with Dakin, three-star. Two covers there up to 213. Doctor Strange up at 244. Squirrel Girl, 210. Patch, 220. Loki, 199. Almost a 200, but not quite. Punisher, 206. We got Hawkeye. He's at 200, just like me. Thanks to you guys. Some Quicksilver covers. Get some command points. More command points. Mystique up to 193. I think she's the Red Hulk one. She's the one where you get Red Hulk. Uh, Thor. Nope, it was Thor. So Thor gets Red Hulk. And he's at 223. Psylocke, one cover there up to 205. 
Vision, 198, closely approaching that 200 mark as well. Got a few Colossuses, Colossuses, Colossi. What is the plural for Colossus? Anyways, if you figure that out, let me know down in the comments below. He hits 202 with some extra ISO and Scarlet Witch up to 230. Model 40 Iron Man, 233. Three star Star Lord, getting a four star Star Lord as a reward at 183. Command points, five of them at level 235 for Luke Cage, three star. Still a great support class character. His uh, righteous uppercut just destroys people, especially if there's some uh, strike tiles on the board to boost it. Uh, Ragnarok also hitting that 200 mark. And three star storm at 213. That's it for the three stars. We'll go to the four stars. Mordo Riri Williams, these were all in there before. Drax, I cannot use, which I figured as much. Gamora takes incapacitate to level two uh, for six blue AP. Uh, stuns the target for two turns and passively, whenever an enemy is stunned, creates a strength 53 purple attack or strike tile. And then uh, max level obviously is going to stun for three turns uh, and a random enemy for one turn and then also the increased strength of the strike or attack tile and then her other ability is when there's a full board of purple it becomes uh, an insta kill which is her black ability here so winter soldier I believe yep he needs that blue detonator ability up to level three uh, this is going to create a three turn countdown tile and four random trap tiles when the timer reaches zero. Destroys all trap tiles dealing 1175 for each, which is uh, times four, uh, 4400, four times 75, uh, about 46 and some change. Um, and then if an enemy matches a trap tile away, creates a strength fifth, uh, 568 blue attack tile, and that is up. Uh, from four trap tiles are up to four from three and then the strength of the attack tile of course increases uh, and then at max level is going to be four trap tiles with a lot of damage each and then a lot of damage on that attack tile so he's at a five three four still working on getting him champion because I love his ability set just really hard to get covers for uh, Red Hulk level five can't use that um, I can champion him um, probably, I think I can get that done in the next two weeks, earn up enough ISO to do that again, and then Star-Lord, and let's see, uh, no five stars, oh, we do have five star, where did that come from? Uh, might have been, was it my Crash of the Titans video and I forgot? Seven days ago, so he's been there for a week, huh, anyways, we'll throw that in there level 5 for something good and this one is going to convert 5 basic tiles of the enemy's strongest color to green charged tiles if one of them uh, one of Star Lord's teammates has less than half health gives the entire team a burst of 1501 uh, a small increase in the boost um, and yeah green charged tiles of course are going to fuel up his bit of both ability charged tiles generate 3 times the amount of normal AP so if it's one charge tile and two tiles there you get four no no five instead of your normal three um, and so if a lot of them are combined together it can also create critical tiles um, if you know they match in with green around them uh, which is always handy uh, yeah so he's at a five one two build for five star star lord now we get to go back to recruit. Oh, we did hit rank 90. Even better. So now we're at shield rank 90. I figured we would hit it in this video, and we did. 45,000 ISO, purple ISO, which is going to help us champion a four star character hopefully here today. Go to recruit heroes. We got five extra heroic tokens. Lots of two stars, probably. Hawkeye, Hawkeye. Ooh, four star. X-Force Wolverine, Gracie Black Widow, and Iron Fist. 
actually pretty useful characters. All right, so we have five latest legends tokens. This vault is an open-ended vault, so it does count for bonus heroes. It can be any five or four star character that you've selected available. Um, it can't be any new characters, like it can't be uh, Mockingbird, she's too new. Uh, it can't be any special characters like Devil Dino or Howard the Duck that are only released with special uh, events in the game. But you can pick just about any other character three, four, or five star as a bonus hero. Uh, it's one in 20 chance to get any of those. These are just the ones that I have picked. Yours will not look the same unless you've picked all the same characters that I have. One in seven draw rate for Dr. Octopus, five star, Peter Parker, which is the homecoming, Spider-Man, five star, and then Star-Lord Awesome Mix Volume 2. And one of the last 12 four stars, which apparently has three times odds, uh, for one of these now includes Vulture uh, he should be oh wait oh this was the update so I read about this uh, the vault that contains any of them uh, will now contain all of them so the three times odds are for the most recent 12 uh, this is Vulture down here as you can see the bottom right corner of the screen beyond that it's normal draw rates so you still can get some of these older four star covers which is great for me because I've been really looking forward to um, building up my four star roster um, with a few more champions uh, but the odds are greater that you'll get one of the newer ones so also pretty exciting we have five chances to get five star um, let's say Peter Parker Oh, Star-Lord. Shoot. All right. Well, at least it's not yellow because his yellow ability is maxed out at five. Um, what do we got? Another five-star. Dr. Octopus. Superior science. I like it. Four-star Agent Venom. Probably going to be ISO, if I'm being honest. Another four-star Moon Knight. Oh, snap. Uh, Moon Knight. Actually, uh, just got Moon Knight at uh, Disneyland in my little Vinylmation thing. I tried to show that in the last, or one of the previous videos, I think the one when I was in California over the weekend, and uh, the lighting was not great, but I'm gonna I'm go get it and I'm gonna show it at the end of the video. But we did get Deadly Strike for Gamora, which is another four star Gamora cover. I think that's a great run of rewards right there. We got uh, four out of the five were usable covers, uh, which is a great day any day. Um, so we'll go to the roster, we add these guys in. We got uh, two stars, add in Hawkeye, boom, boom. The rest are wasted. Three star, Iron Fist, up to 253. Black, or Gray Suit Black Widow, up to 219. The four stars, uh, we'll take Gamora right off the top. Uh, that's going to be Deadly Strike up to level three, deals 1572 and creates three turn red countdown tile targeting that same character which deals 317 damage at the end of each turn whether that character is in front or not uh, which is awesome and uh, let's see we did get uh, Wolverine and Moon Knight I'm excited about that Moon Knight I really want to champion him I think I will I was gonna champion somebody else but it didn't happen I didn't get the covers that I wanted uh, so we're gonna go for these five stars here we got Dr. Octopus, Black Ability, Superior Science, level 1. This is going to uh, stun the target for one turn and create a three turn countdown tile while on the board, which stuns the target for one turn each turn. Uh, when it expires, the target takes 857 damage and creates two strength 143 friendly strike tiles. At level 5, this is going to still be a three turn countdown tile, still going to stun one turn each turn but when it expires is going to uh, deal 1657 damage and this is at uh, level uh, what level does this five star start at uh, 255 um, and create two strength 372 friendly strike tiles um, which is awesome anytime an ability is 10 or less you can use it up to three times when you have a max stash of uh, 30 in your AP uh, stash so he's at a 1-1-0 build. I really want that green ability for his nuclear reactor uh, insta-win. Uh, Star-Lord, something bad, goes up to level 2. 
This is going to steal two random enemy strike attack or protectiles, and if there are none on the board, steals five random enemy AP instead. That's up from four, and then each level you can see progresses, and this is going to steal up to eight at max level of five, uh, or steals up to four, uh, steals up to four enemy special tiles or eight random enemy AP. So he's a 5-2-2 two, two build. He's coming along. I really would like some more green covers for him. So, let's see. All right, so I said I was going to champion a character, and it's going to be this guy, Moon Knight. So that's my, my Vinylmation. I collect them. Every time I go to Disney, I pick up a few, and uh, I like to see you know what new variants they have or if they have uh, anybody fun it's a random grab bag kind of thing where it comes in a little box in a foil bag so there's no way to tell who's inside uh, I just happened to get lucky with that one uh, now I love Moon Knight this character in the game when he came out I was all about him I still am but my roster has shifted in strength and he didn't keep up pace with some of my higher level characters, um, some of my four star champions. I actually don't currently have a four star champion with a black, green, purple build. So he's going to be my first one of that nature, which is going to help me build some great new teams around that. Um, I'm already thinking about some awesome combos for him. So what we're going to do is level up to max level of four star is 270 with all that freshly earned ISO. We're going to get that knocked out, and that's going to give him a huge boost in health as well as uh, in his abilities. And any uh, character can be championed without having extra covers. The benefit to having extra covers when you champion is that once they become a champion, that first level is going to be a legendary token if they're a three or four star character. And I'm not sure about five star, I've never championed one yet, but. I'm pretty sure that it's also at five star as well. If you've championed five stars and you're watching, let me know down in the comments below because I'd love to know. Uh, I assume that it is, but you know, you shouldn't always assume. So there is that legendary token. So we get one more chance at the store, which is six legendary draws in the same video, which is more than I've ever had in any other video, uh, which is amazing. Uh, we'll preview these rewards quickly as a four star. Uh, there are no five-star uh, tag-along bonuses, but you get a ton more of command points, as you can see. Uh, legendary tokens far more frequently than the three stars. Lots of hero points, and ISO uh, increases significantly. There's 3,500 for that one. Seven command points there, um, as you can see. So huge rewards. I'm going to keep him as a, a favorited bonus hero and uh, hopefully uh, earn some extra covers there. So at champion level 271, Fist of Conchus is black ability. I have it at level 5. It's 9 AP cost. This is going to deal 6,852 damage to the enemy. If the enemy uh, is downed by that amount of damage, restores 2,005 health to Moon Knight. This is going to help him, especially in wave-based battles, to keep alive and keep fighting. Lunacy is his purple ability. It's a passive that has a, one of three random uh, bonuses to it and uh, either creates uh, a tactile when you match black, um, extra damage with the purple, or a, a strike tile when you match green. Um, as you level up, the amount of each of these is going to change, of course. I have this at level 3, so it's only 479. It goes up to 692 and 1117. But Moon Silver Blades, this is the, the money right here, for 12 green AP cost is going to deal a whopping 13,016 damage to a random enemy. Now, if there's only one enemy left or two, you know, your odds, uh, if it's a 1v1 and he's the last guy standing, you use this, it's basically going to knock out just about anybody by the end of a fight if they're the last enemy standing. Um, if there are some higher level uh, enemies and you, you know, want to really hit hard and take one of them out, uh, you know, your odds of 1 in 3 or 1 in 2. You might get lucky with the one you want, or you basically just get rid of the other guy. But for that amount of damage, it's going to be really hard to, to stand up to that and still have a leg to stand on. Uh, Moon Knight is affiliated with Heroes. Um, he is not Team Iron Man or Team Cap 
for those other abilities that matter, and he's not in any uh, association or group of heroes like X-Men, Avengers, of that nature. But I'm super excited for my new four-star. Here he is, new four-star champion, Moon Knight, joining the ranks. So that makes uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10 total four-star champions on my roster. So <clears throat> looking forward to uh, hopefully some more. And in the weeks to come, if there's a video for that, I'll let you know. And as I promised at the end of this video, I would announce details for the giveaway for a $25 gift card. If you guys have been with me since the beginning, thank you so much for those early subscribers. If you're you know, a new subscriber, I still thank you so much for your support. Honestly, I started making these videos um, just because I didn't see a lot of other content out there and I felt like maybe I had something to offer to the Marvel Puzzle Quest community and um, you guys have shown support and and you know shown me that what I'm doing is valuable to you guys by subscribing to this channel and that you like these videos. So uh, for that I'm giving away a $25 gift card and what you need to do is like this video. Uh, Subscribe to the channel, so if you haven't done so already, be a subscriber, and click that little notification bell, which is going to give you instant uh, YouTube updates when videos like this get posted. And then what I need you to do is leave a comment, and uh, let me know, let's see, what's a good comment to leave? Uh, how long you've been watching? Maybe it's been a week, maybe it's been a day, maybe it's been three months, maybe it's been a year. Whatever it is. Let me just know uh, when you started watching, and uh, what we're going to do is all the comments from this video, uh, one comment per person is all it's going to take to enter you into the drawing, and uh, in about a week, I will, so what is this, Saturday? So next week, Saturday, we're going to tally up all the comments on this video. Everybody's going to get a number based on when you were commented on, and what we're going to do is actually use... Uh, RNG system. I have an app on my phone to roll a random number. That number associated to your name is going to get a $25 gift card either to Google Play or iTunes and you can use that and you can use that for um, either something in Marvel Puzzle Quest or if you play a different game it's a gift card. So really honestly it's just going to go to your account and you can use it for whatever you want. Uh, ideally it would be nice to put into Marvel Puzzle Quest to help open up some roster spaces for you, help get you some extra um, covers from a, a vault if that's what you're into, or whatever you need. So uh, like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell, leave a comment with how long you've been watching. And then in a week from today, next Saturday, we will draw a winner on the next video, and uh, or on that video, I should say, because I'll probably post another one between now and then, and then we'll have that winner picked. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and hitting 200 subscriptions. Uh, next goal is 300, and uh, with your guys' help spreading the word and the love of Marvel Puzzle Quest and this channel, we can make that happen. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter for more Marvel Puzzle Quest news and updates at Mr. MPQ. Link down in the description below, as always. And until next time, as always, keep on questing, and I'll see you in the next video.